more sets. As a team, University of Missouri St. Louis hits 300 on the dot for the match. They finished off out that fourth set, hitting 324 to Harding's 306. In the match, Harding hits 270 as a team. Umsel was led by Delaney Hum and her 21 kills. Delaney is going to make her way up here to speak with us next with head coach Ryan Young. Should be a lot of fun to get to hear from those two. Betsy Rang contributed with 14 more kills. Ended up one dig shy of a double-double. By the way, Delaney Hum also had three blocks in this match. And we talked a little bit about Umsel being doubled up on the block throughout the season, which was a little bit curious considering how dominant this team has been. But they made good of it here today. Told you that those numbers would probably even out in the long run. We saw it with Umsel winning the block 6-3. to three. Not a whole lot of blocks in that latest match. Just an offensive showcase from both teams. And if you're a volleyball fan, that had to be a lot of fun to watch. I know it was fun to call as an announcer as we have Coach Young and Delaney Hum now joining us. from Coach Young first here in post game. Ryan Young, a huge victory for your team against a very good Harding team just outside of the top 25. What did you think about the response from your team in that third set and beyond? Yeah, I thought it was good. Um, their, their defense uh, was super scrappy. And, uh, you know, I've, we've been stressing blocking a lot this week. And we just we got tooled out by a couple inches a lot during that match. Um, so we're doing a better job of having active hands um, and then I, th I thought we just passed a lot better in set three and set four, which was the difference um, in that match. You know, like like you said, they're a good team. They're a seasoned team. Went 32 and two last year. Like they know how to win and know how to compete. So that says a lot, you know, at our level. So it was a good good battle for sure. You've got to be awfully pleased with the offensive performance against a team like this. To hit 300 against Harding is an accomplishment. What was working for you out there? Sure, this kid right here, she, she played great, you know. Uh, 21 kills and 341 for a left side is pretty darn good. Um, when Caitlin puts our, our hitters in a good spot, um, they, they, they do well with their feet, and Delaney's got a great arm, and then she showcased that uh, in the match. So, you know, our left side did a nice job. Uh, Lexi had 14 as well, but then Hannah Copeland started getting going in the fourth, uh, third and fourth, so that helped us as well. What did you think about the overall level of play for your team? Is this something that is sustainable moving forward? Yeah, I think so. I, I think overall we could pass a lot better. And there's there's areas that we talked about in the Zoom uh, earlier this week about where we can be cleaner. Um, volleyball's not a perfect game, right? So we're not going to play perfect all the time. But I, I think our, our focus and energy effort level needs to be more consistent. Um, that's something we'll talk about before you know playing another really good uh, Maryville team this afternoon. Coach Young, thank you so much for the time. We'll no see you again, and best of luck the rest of the way in this tournament. Thank you. All right, now we'll hear from Delaney Hum here in post game. Delaney, we've been talking about it a little bit. A new Umsel career high, 21 kills for you in this one. What what was working for you out there on the court today? I think in set one and two, especially our passing and defense weren't as good as they usually are. So I think. Um, my setter, Caitlin, did a really good job at putting us hitters in a good position um, and staying aggressive is one of our top goals. And I think we did a really good job of staying aggressive um, when the balls weren't always in that right position to hit. We've talked a lot about your ability to put the ball away here, hitting 341 in the match, which is tremendous. But you also came up with three blocks in this one as well. How much pride do you take on having that well-rounded game? I think it's really important, especially if, because I did have seven errors as well, and <laughs> and making up for that in other areas is super important. Um, and Ryan does a really good job of supporting us in those different ways. Um, so, yeah. Speaking right now with Delaney Hum, what, what's it like being on a team that is so incredibly talented, knowing that sometimes even when you win, it's more about playing to your standard rather than looking at what's going on across the net? Yeah. And like Ryan said, volleyball is not a perfect game. And I think... We do a really good job if our offense isn't there, that our defense picks it up. And if our defense isn't there, we're staying aggressive at the net and making sure that we can do all the little things right. Um, and it adds up together whether we play a perfect game or not. Um, 
and I think this set three and four were definitely better than set one and two um, offense-wise, so I think overall we did a really good job of just putting together the little things and pulling out a win against a really talented team. That's Delaney Hum. Congratulations on the new Umsel High and on the win. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you again later. Delaney Hum and Ryan Young, head coach of the Umsel Tritons, kind enough.